Hey guys, and welcome back to our Wednesday night devotionals. Tonight we're going to be talking about kindness, anxiety, and the importance of not letting the latter of that take over in our lives. But before we do, go ahead, hit that like button, share this video on your feed, and check in at our website at mhbclouisville.com to find out all the fun stuff that we have coming up during our Easter season, like our first ever glow-in-the-dark Easter egg hunt happening the Saturday before Easter, our Good Friday service, our Easter service, and more. And you can find all of that on our website, again, at mhbclouisville.com. So I was driving to the church the other day, and I got behind someone who had stopped short of a street to make a left turn. Like usual, unfortunately, my first response was, what are you doing? But then I saw what they had in mind. See, the intersection in question is one that is often hard to get in and out of normally. This person had stopped short to allow other cars waiting to turn left onto the main road with us to do so since there was no traffic heading our way and there were a lot of us who were lined up behind the stopped car that was trying to turn into this place. And as I watched the three cars turn out onto our road, another thought had crossed my mind. Wow, that was, that was nice of them. And it's sad to admit, but that doesn't usually enter my mind when I'm on the road, especially when I'm in a hurry. See, I get really anxious and stressed about being late to a meeting or an event, or even when I'm meeting up with my friends or my parents. I blame high school marching band. But that anxiety and that stress, it tends to leave me frustrated, and that frustration turns to anger with people when they make it harder for me to get to my destination in a hurry. But in a gesture of kindness, from this person the other day, it reminded me that we can't let our stress and our anxiety ruin our character. Proverbs 12, 25 says that anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. I know that driving isn't the only thing that leaves stress in my life. It comes from things happening in the world, loss of ones that we love, pain in our body. Yes, I know, I'm not in my 20s anymore, but... See, all of these worries, all of these anxieties can raise our tempers and make us forget that we need to be kind to one another. In the book of Matthew, Jesus warns of this issue and lets us know what we should do. So if you want to follow along as we read this tonight, we're going to be turning into Matthew chapter 6. And we'll be starting in verse 25 and jumping around a little bit, but I'll let you know when that happens. So here is what that says. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? And dropping down to 33, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. I know that this part of the Bible gets hard. We have bills due that we don't know how to pay for. We have important meetings that we have to prepare for, and we wonder what kind of a world our kids will inherit. And there are so many things that we worry about on a daily basis. And most of the time, the worry is not about today, but what about tomorrow brings and beyond. But Jesus tells us that we are to look to him first, that we are to stop our worrying, especially about the things that we don't have control over, start focusing on God. And we are able to lose the worry that way. We are able to shed our frustration and our anger that comes as a result of that worry. See, once that frustration and anger can melt away, we can start finding the kindness that we have in our hearts for other people. We become more pleasant to be around, and we can bring a joyful heart to the places that we go. The person in the car in front of me the other day, they chose kindness over selfishness. And in turn, those people who were let out onto the main road, their day maybe became a little bit better. So as we go from day to day trying to make it through this world, try to stop about worrying what is coming, 
Choose to be kind to someone else. Kindness spreads. So why not let it start with you? Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for all the love that you pour into us, for all the things that you provide for us. Help us to put away our worries and to focus more on you so that we can let the kindness that you pour into our hearts pour out to others. Father, we thank you so much for all that you do, for the kindness that you show us, for the mercy and the love that you give us every day. Thank you so much for all that you do. In your name we pray. Amen. So I do want to thank you again for coming out again. And I do hope that these devotionals can help you in some way from week to week. And if you'd like to view more of these devotionals or check out one of our other videos or services, you can do so on our social media pages or checking it out on our website at mhbclouisville.com. But with that, I really do wish you all the kindness this world has. And I will see you next Wednesday.